I got into folklore starting out with being really interested in monster stories and just silly stories you tell to friends at parties and things and um, I didn't realize that was folklore. Um, I thought folklore was tall tales, legends, things that are written. I didn't realize that cooking and building a house and music was folklore. Um, when I was growing up I was really interested in hearing family stories. I really liked reading about history, reading biographies and things like that, things right about the past. And then I moved into university studying literature, history, film. I'm very interested in culture and how it works, but it, none of those approaches seemed quite right. Um, so when I found ethnology and folklore, it really offered me a chance to kind of bring all those different kind of strands together. Well, in 2010, I did a, a master's in creative writing at the University of Aberdeen and got involved in sort of narrative and I found myself becoming more and more interested in um, sort of local narratives and the telling of stories and so on. And so in 2011 I decided to move to the Elphinstone and look at the, uh, the, the stories of this area. It felt like a very random journey to ethnology and folklore. When I first came here to the Institute I have to be honest and say I didn't really know what ethnology in particular was. But once I'd got to become a bit more familiar with the area, I realised that I'd been doing this kind of work for a long, long time. I'd been working as a community educator with a background in language, working with different sorts of communities and helping them tell their own stories. And for me, that's really what ethnology is all about. So now I can say with pride, I am an ethnologist.